Could you describe what it was like when you were first confronting your OCD with the help of the mushrooms or other plant medicines? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I did not go about this as, as you both know, from seeing that tape of the show, I, I didn't do this in, I, this would be a classic. Don't try this at home because I was doing, you know, large doses of different psychedelics in pretty quick succession without a lot of time for integration. I didn't really have any support. Um, so predictably it was a bit haphazard and the results were sometimes not what I expected. I had some, some experiences that were actually in the short term, somewhat traumatizing. And I had one experience this, I don't think this was in the version of the show that you two saw, but it was in earlier versions when the show was lo longer. I had one particularly traumatic experience that really made the OCD worse for several months. So for me, it was sort of a case of psychedelics helping almost in spite of me being a little bit of an idiot in the way I was going about it. Um, so, but I'd say, yeah, I, over multiple trips, I gradually had the experience more and more. Well, first of all, I think a big part of it was just connecting me to my physical experience to my body because OCD is such a mind disorder. It's all about thinking. I look at, at, I look at it as if you don't, you can't have OCD without thoughts. If there weren't thoughts, oh my God, I left the stove on. Oh no, I'm contaminated. Oh no, maybe I hit someone with my car. If you don't have those thoughts, you don't have OCD. However, the roots of those thoughts are in the body. There's always a physical sensation that we don't want to have. And the thoughts, which are essentially obsessions, are, I believe, a response to that sensation and an attempt to neutralize it. So it's like, all right, I'm afraid I left the stove on. Well, if I think about it really hard, maybe I'll convince myself I turned it off and I, I'll feel relief. Or if I check it for the 57th time, I'll reassure myself the stove is off and I'll feel relief. But that reassurance is going to happen in my brain. It's a thought basically like, okay, the stove is off. So a big part of psychedelics for me have been just um, facilitating more physical awareness, what's actually happening in my body, because that's where fear and anxiety exists. Those aren't, fear is not a thought. You might have thoughts that can exacerbate fear. You might have thoughts in response to fear, but fear, we use the term emotion, but really it's just a physical sensation. It's a constellation of sensation in our body that we term anger or sadness or fear. And to get freedom from OCD, and I think most conditions, a real key is just being able to really fully experience those sensations. But I was so up in my head with the OCD, I just wasn't aware of what was happening physically. It was driving my behavior, but I had no sort of access to it. And psychedelics, um, both plant-based psychedelics as well as synthetic psychedelics like, like LSD were really critical in enabling me to just feel the sensations in my body. And once I could feel them, then I had the choice to sit with them versus trying to get rid of them with obsessive behavior and thinking. I think you, you know, you brought up LSD and I think there were some derivatives of LSD that you're talking about in the show, but you, you obviously call the show the mushroom cure and do you find that mushrooms were the most beneficial in kind of uh, rewriting your neural pathways to kind of showing you the mirror of the addictive qualities that are, are obviously causing distress? Do you think that was the uh, impactful? Yeah. It's hard for me to say because I wasn't running a good controlled experiment because I was doing, you know, I would do... I would do uh, San Pedro, and then a week later, I would do 2CE, and then two weeks later, I'd do LSD. And then, so it's hard to say. What I will say is, so I, I had this period that I recount in The Mushroom Cure where I was doing a lot of psychedelics. I ultimately did get a substantial degree of relief due to psychedelics and other things. And then I sort of backed off psychedelics for a while. And I would say, but now, you know, in recent years, I, I do continue to work with them. I think, I think where mushrooms might be, I guess what I would say is, 
it feels to me like mushrooms and probably ayahuasca have perhaps been a little bit more helpful than things like LSD because there's more of a physical component to them. There's more of like a body feeling with them. So like with ayahuasca, at least for me, I can't not be aware of my body. It just pulls me into my body for better or for worse, whatever is going on, whatever sensations are there, I'm going to feel. And mushrooms can do that too, particularly at higher doses. Whereas LSD for me can be more of a heady experience, which isn't to say it can't be helpful. So I can't really draw any firm conclusions. Uh, and I do think that LSD can also, and for me probably has had some benefits for OCD, but I would say, I think the research, so the one study that's been published was of psilocybin and the two studies that are now underway, one out of Arizona and one out of Yale are also psilocybin. And I think that's a smart move. I think if we're going to study, if we're going to start with one compound, I think that's a good candidate because it does have a, a strong body component. And also I'd say this, it, it, it surrender is such a big part of psychedelic healing with OCD, just letting go. And mushrooms and ayahuasca, they can be more difficult to negotiate with, say, than something like LSD. I've been on high doses of LSD and voluntarily walked up to police officers to ask them directions because I feel like, oh, I'm in control of this exper experience. Like I'm not a, whereas mushrooms, you know, they're, they're, for me, there's often been a sense of, oh yeah, I kind of have to submit to what's happening. And I think that can, it's funny because people with OCD, we don't like to let go of control. We want to rigidly control everything, but the healing comes in letting go. And I think mushrooms may be a little bit better for that than say something like LSD or even cactus.